start doing some work here. My main thing today is I'm going to try to take down some doors. So I'm going to be taking the bathroom door off right here to open up, you know, where the door's not in our way. And then we have another door over here. So let me get started and y'all have fun watching. It's that easy on a single wire, you just, just rip it all in. Just rip it all I'm gonna be widening this door right here. So the door's gonna actually gonna be way over here. Uh, reason is because we're gonna have the washing machine and dryer in this bathroom. So this right here is currently a bedroom right now. So my plan is, like I said, there's still some stuff in here. Uh, I'm just having to work around it right now. So the bathroom is gonna, this is gonna be the bathroom door where you're standing at right now. So you'll come in. We're going to knock out this wall right here. Um, so this wall right here is actually coming down.
These beans right here don't feel like they're holding much weight. All the weight is on this beam right here. So we're going to leave this beam here. We're going to close in that door that we took off going into the bathroom and we're just going to widen this door. So, Next thing we need to do is get on the other side and start taking the other side of the wall down. So we got to take this wall down right here. I want to take we're gonna take this bathtub out. We're gonna put a stand-up shower right here in the corner. So this door right here is gonna actually be closed in. So all right, slide you guys back. Y'all see me? Nope. Like I said, guys, I'm going to get better at uh, the angles of this. guys back I'm not trying to hit you guys y'all y'all might think I'm always trying to hit y'all with stuff but I'm not I promise guys I'm not Got that panel on all. Now the wall is starting to more open now. I don't understand why when they made this home, why would you put wood panel on it? in a bathroom. I mean, I don't know if it's just a cheap way for them to build a home back in the 70s, but to me, it's kind of crazy to have paneling in a bathroom. It's first where it gets wet next to a shower. So, all right. Now we need to take down the curtain rod for the bathroom. Alright, shove right here. There you go. Y'all should do see me pretty good right there.
I'm not going to be reusing this truck tires because it's stand up power. It has bones. What else can we take down? I'm gonna try to do is knock this one wall down. Hope y'all can see. Yeah, y'all can see. Bring you guys over here on this side of the wall. But as you can see, this wall will open up the bathroom and we can make the bathroom a little bit more bigger. But like I said, the door ain't gonna be over here. 
We're gonna close that door off, knock these beans out, which, by the way, these are wobbling. There's no weight on any of these. So, we'll be fine to take these down. Like I said, you can't take down this big beam over here on the left. Maybe you're right if you're watching the video, but my left over here on this side. So, feels good to actually go knock this wall out and we can see what we're working with. Now let me go ahead and get all this stuff right away, right here. Gotta rearrange. Like I said, this right here, it's not even holding the weight. So, some of this wood, we're gonna reuse. I'm not throwing the wood that's not rotten out. I'm gonna try my best to reuse a lot of this wood. But yeah, we're making, we're making pretty good progress here. Since I got that one piece out right there, I can price it y'all right here. Y'all can walk me through the wall. All right. So our next, let's see, I'm trying to figure out what to do next here. I might try to take that medicine cabinet down. Uh, we still got medicine up in here. Oh. Rat mouse. I don't have a. I think it's a seven sixteenths screw holding up. See a lot of this stuff in here is garbage. Not even no good. Um, trying to figure out what to do next here, y'all. My main goal today was just to get this the wall down that you know you're seeing through now. That was my main goal today was to at least knock that wall down. Um, next thing is we gotta get the toilet out of here, bathtub out of here, and finish knocking all the walls down. Cause like I said, we gotta do the green sheetrock. We're not putting wood paneling back in the bathroom. Um, but I'm saving this some of the wood paneling. That's good because we can reuse it in another room if we have to. behind the bathtub here we want to have to take the bathtub out itself so let me bring y'all around here around this way you know let me walk around the wall I gotta figure out how to get this bathtub out I never really took a bathtub out before 
I'm assuming it's screwed to the floor. Not for sure. As far as it goes down right there. Alright. I should be able to see. I'm pretty sure this. Yeah. This piece right here will come off. It goes along the back tub. We're gonna have to buy some plywood because that's a big hole under the back there. Yeah, this whole floor is right under the tub. Whole entire floor. That's why the glass took falling down in a hole back there because. And this is one of those uh, metal bathtubs. <laughs> couldn't get the wall down because the tub was stopping us from getting all the way to the floor there. But I gotta rip out all that. First we need to get this bathtub out of here. I might actually honestly set the bathtub in this room for the time being.
nail. Got a board with a nail stuck in my shoe. Good thing my boots are real thick. It's kind of like pretty much my very first by myself remodel. I've done remodeling before. I have my friend up on this house. And doing some remodeling on his trailer, his house, I mean. Right. I'll get this blind off. Line right here, just kind of in the way. All right, screws, screws on that. You would think that this piece right here be
Yeah. So far, it's uh, coming along pretty good, y'all. A little hot. Because I'm used to air conditioning. Now there's no air conditioning. Not in here, at least. For yet, right now. This is what I'm thinking here. We're gonna have a bathtub right here in this corner. We're going to get these bookshelves out. There's actually a window behind here. But I want one of those corner tubs. So we're gonna have a corner tub here. The toilet's gonna to be slightly over. As soon as we knock this wall out, the toilet's gonna to be right there. And then we're gonna have a stand-up shower over there. And then on the other side of this wall here, it's going to be double sinks. This right here is going to be all the, the bathroom. And then the wash machine, you see how it's sitting out in the hallway. The reason why I want to make this door bigger coming into the bathroom is because I want the washer and dryer to be. So there's a closet right here. And I was thinking about doing those stackables. Where it's like a double the washer and dryer. So I'm gonna have to take this wall right here out. Which you know you can see I'm wiggling, it don't hold any weight. Trim this wall up right here. Because <coughs> it's not holding no weight. And put the washer and dryer right here pretty much guys that's it for today I think I'm gonna call it a day here